Today, I'd like to talk to, uh, to you about price differentials as it relates to oil and gas reserves evaluations. So what are price differentials? They're basically the difference in the price that you receive for the product in the field when you sell it, the oil and the gas, versus the market price of, pro of products at that same time. So differentials can be positive or negative, and differentials can be caused by crude oil quality, heating value of the gas, transportation charges, and other local market conditions. So why are they important? The price received for the products affect the cash flow, economic limit, and reserves value when you're doing your reserves evaluation. And you need the differentials, so when you want to model the future cash flows, as the forecasted, forecasted price change, you can uh, adjust them by the correct differentials. So how do you determine price differentials? The best way is to compare historical revenue data to historical market price data. But sometimes you don't have that. You may have a, a new well that the operator tells you some information. For instance, he may say, well, we drilled a new well and we have a contract that we're going to get West Texas Intermediate plus $1.50 for this oil. So that might be all you have. Sometimes if you're not working for the operator, you have no data. From, you have to go to published reports or industry data for that basin or area to see what, what the prices are for the product. Okay, the first step is to compile historical market prices. For instance, this is a 2019 schedule by month of the oil price of West Texas Intermediate at Cushing, Oklahoma spot. So in January, the average spot price was $51.48 a barrel. And this data is published by various industry sources. And I use Ryder Scott Company for my data. But you have to remember to be consistent. When you pick uh, West Texas Intermediate for your historical prices, when you do your future prices, you have to use the futures from West, West Texas Intermediate oil. All right, where do you get the futures from? Now, the futures are traded on the NYMEX exchange in New York, and there's various companies and websites that you can go to get data like this. This is uh, West Texas Intermediate from CME Group, and it's for prices as of February 3rd, 2020. So the price, you have to know the price of the strip schedule. So here are the futures month, March, April, May, June, July, and here's the price of oil that the market says they will pay for oil in those months. So that's going to be going into your future price schedule on your reserve, reserves analysis. All right, now here's an example of a differential or diff analysis for an oil well. We have eight months of data. We have oil sales volumes each month. And then we have the gross oil revenue received for the oil. That's gross before royalties and taxes. So you divide the revenue by the barrels and you get an average price each month. The first month is $55.77 per barrel. The next thing you do is you add your market historical market prices and you compare the price received to the market price because the differential is the price received minus the market price. So in this first month it's a negative $8 and it varies each month. But the preferred method is to use a differential as a percent of market price. So you divide the negative 8 by 63, and you get 12, negative 12% 12 this month. So over the months, it can change, and you have to analyze it and see, you know, if things are changing, are they leveling out at one number? But as a first pass, I would just take the average, which is 4.2% negative oil differential for this well. Now, you have to do this analysis for each well, reservoir, or field as appropriate. If all the wells are in the same reservoir, you don't have to do differential calculations on all of them because they're going to be getting the same price. But if you have different reservoirs or different fields, you have to perform this analysis on each field and reservoir to get a price for that oil. So let's recap. Price differentials are important for generating future cash flows. You have to be consistent with just the source of the historical data and the market category you're using for the future price. Price differentials are not always constant due to changing infrastructure and market conditions. 
For instance, two years ago in the Permian, when the pipeline bottlenecks were occurring, there was a large negative differential in oil, but as they added more pipelines, that got reduced. So you have to analyze the oil differentials. If you have gas sales, you have to analyze the gas differentials. And related would be the gas shrinkage and NGL yield. We'll talk about that in another video. And if you're selling NGLs, you have to do the NGL differentials. So that's how you do it, and it's very important when you're projecting your reserves and value. So if you have any questions, please just give me a call. Thanks.